and let's get started. Alright guys, hello and welcome to another Jetset Radio Future tutorial video. Uh, this time I'm gonna cover chapter one, so that's pretty much Garage and the tutorial. Um, Dogen Saka Hill and Shibuya Terminal. Alright, first of all, I'm gonna... I'm gonna talk about this Hi there. trick called uh, Quick Load. This trick is pretty much just a... a, a I mean, it's, it's just like a... It, le it lets you start the game quicker than usual. It saves like, probably like up to a second or something. Um, and it's basically time-based. Um, so you pretty much have to time it um, whenever the camera zooms into beat and changes into yo-yo. Uh, I'll show you, like, I'll show you the picture. So we're gonna time it between this picture right here, or this camera angle and this one so the camera is going to zoom in a lot and you're going to change and it's going to change into yo-yo so that's the moment where you need to press a or start game like this All right, um, it's very important to not mash A before talking, before Korn talks to you because you may get a random jump in there and lose time because of it. Um, but yeah, other than that, mashing is really important. I'm really not a good masher, so I'm just gonna be mediocre about that. All right, here, uh, there's one thing I do that I would call a jump cancel. Uh, for this part, you have to jump three times in a row. So the first jump, I'm just gonna short hop normally. Uh, for the second one though, I'm gonna jump towards the stairs. So my, my jump can, gets cancelled by grinding. And then immediately, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spam A again, so... I get two quick jumps in a row, like this. Cool. Okay, for the for the next part, which is grinding, I have a visual cue, which is the dialogue. And it's this part. If you land it the right way, you'll slide automatically. And this, this one is pretty much a timer, so... I think the game scans for how long you've been into a rail and it's looking for like uh, a time span of two seconds at least. So we could, we pick up this specific rail because I think it's like the exact amount of time you have to be grinding. So yeah, it'll look something like this and then you'll have to time it again. Um, and then the next part works pretty much the same. Uh, the visual cue is gonna be when Gum says, "Can't do graffiti if you ain't got a if you ain't got a soul." No, you know what I'm saying, or something like that. So like this. And um, yeah, there you go. You need. I usually pick up all the three cans, but right there I just missed one. That's not a big deal. Uh, since we need at least 26 cans to enter Dogen. For the spray, for the spray there, uh, it's the same, it's just a visual cue. Uh, it's based on the dialogue, so yeah, nothing different there. And here we also have another visual cue. Uh, this one I'm just looking at whenever the... the screen shows the go message and I do this thing called boost cancelling and this is actually pretty simple um, this trick is just performed by boost dashing with the B button and then immediately 
uh, pressing down in the thumbstick. So it'll look like this. And then we'll pick up more cans. And then more mashing. And that's the garage. Yeah, this is DJ All right, Professor cool. K, baby. The master now, um, Bring after the garage, we're gonna encounter these things radio. called graffiti souls, which are the uh, shining things uh, sitting there in, the, in all the levels. And we actually need to pick up 20 of these to um, progress. Because, like, first we need to uh, pick up four. Or, yeah, four to make Rapid 99 spawn at, uh, at 99 Street. And then afterwards, Clutch uh, will ask will ask for uh, 45 graffiti souls. And uh, we start off with 25. So yeah, that's why that's why I'm I'm gonna be picking picking up graffiti souls. They're pretty much needed, and you cannot avoid them. Um, and there is uh, an optimal route for this, which is pretty much the route I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. The route I'm gonna do. Um, I'm actually gonna show you like the actual optimal run. I mean, the optimal route. Um, so yeah, at this point, not even my world record run has this route. But since the tutorial is about being, uh, it's about like uh, involving or like getting all the updated strats. Um, I'm just gonna show you that, that one. So yeah. And who should be following them around but the Rokaku Group's watchdog, the Rokaku Police. With the Rokaku Expo just around the corner, the crackdown they're only getting tighter. My heart ain't pounding like this since, since my first date. I was so nervous. No, All right, we're gonna start off as Yo-Yo right here. Uh, it's actually faster to just keep going as Yo-Yo and not switch to Gum because if we switch, we uh, lose all the cans and we also lose a lot of time. So we'll just go right, jump, and there I like going for frame boost. I'm gonna call them friendly frame boosts. Uh, there are spots in the game where you can actually go for frame boosts and if you miss them, uh, you're not gonna lose time because you actually have to trick jump. So if that one right there is like the first friendly frame boost in the run, and I got him. I mean, I, I got it. So yeah. Okay, here I'm gonna spam Y to avoid slowing down. Then I'm gonna jump right, boost dash, and then shuffle. Pick up the first soul of the game. And then we're gonna jump left to pick up this blue can right here. Um, yeah, boost dash again. Pick up, pick up this cans right here. Uh, then we get more cans. And um, boost dash, pick up another graffiti soul. You got a graffiti soul. It's very important to not shuffle there, because if you do, you'll get launched and you'll actually miss this tag right here. So it's better to uh, play it safe there and just land here and um, remember to tap the thumbstick while spraying large and extra large sprays, because that will uh, allow you to spray them all and not miss a single tag. So here we have an uh, annoying graffiti camera, and we're avoiding it by simply short hopping. Um, this area is fine though, no... I mean, this is like the usual graffiti camera, but we already know how to deal with that, so... Get hype. <laughs> we got another graffiti camera here. This one works pretty similar. 
Um, I'm also tapping there. Um, so yeah, as we could see here, there's the slopes give you maximum speed. So here, I just I shuffle um, to maintain some of the speed I gained. And then I short hop because I need to spray this tag right here. Um, but yeah, we're gonna pick up this this uh, graffiti song right here. And this is also one annoying graffiti camera, but um, we're gonna avoid it by slowing down in the opposite direction that the graffiti camera will put us, and that is that is. Uh, Inputting to the right. Okay, we're gonna finish up spraying and then if you noticed, I turned around quickly and then pressed L to refresh my camera. Um, so when I spawn, I'll be looking at the at the blue cans right there, and then I'll just pick them up, shuffle here at the slope again, and uh, talk to beat. And we're gonna pick up this tape right here. So why do we pick up that specific tape? Well, the, the short answer is it's faster. <laughs> but yeah, the detailed answer is because we are going to unlock the air combo graffiti soul. And we're gonna pick up that soul right after. Um, right after finishing uh, Death Ball during the noise tank cleanup because we have to um, go back here anyway all right here we're gonna pick up uh, depending on our on our can management we're gonna pick up uh, cans here I usually just pick up the the one yellow can there and I don't, I do not pick up the blue can. But since I entered with little uh, cans, I'm gonna pick them all. So we can have an optimal beat race. Okay, here is where we unlock the uh, air combo soul right there. We're gonna mesh through the uh, dialogue, and when we talk to characters, there's gonna be like there's there are gonna be two options, which are pretty much yes or no. Yes is almost always at the left side, and no is gonna be always the default. So if you keep mashing A and you don't point the thumbstick uh, to the left. You're gonna press no, and you're gonna, you're gonna have to talk to them again. So when I'm mashing, I'm always pointing my uh, thumbstick to the left, except in one case, which is death ball. But we're gonna talk about that later. All right, this race we're gonna start off boost dashing and looking for an end to R in this rail right here. So I'm just gonna spam A. And pick up those blue cans. I mean the blue can and the yellow can. Pick up these cans right here and then go to the left. Right there, I jumped with the thumbstick at a neutral position. And then I, as soon as I was airborne, I pressed left. And that is to avoid a really weird... Uh, and yeah, a really weird angle. Or yeah... Um, to the left, so I don't I don't want to turn that much to the left. That's why I just simply jump with the neutral position, and then uh, and then yeah, I press I press left. All right, we're gonna boost dash, pick up the scans as we did, and the, when we entered the level, and then we're gonna boost dash again here. The, the, here we're gonna spam B again because we can we want to get two boost dash two boost dashes in a row um yeah boost dash again here there's no need to quick turn there so shuffle right here uh, yeah boost once more and again 
shuffle and quick turn and boost dash again. Shuffle, get these blue cans by jumping early there. Boost dash towards this point. There is another friendly um, frame boost right there that I just got. If you don't get it, uh, I mean, no biggie, it's alright. But if, yeah, if you get it, you'll, you'll get like, uh, or, or you'll save time, so. Okay, we shuffle there. You can get a perfect shuffle out of that, but um, yeah, I didn't get it, so no big deal. And that's the beat race. All right, um, good stuff so far. We're almost ready with Dogen Zaka Hill. We just have to clear this cup fight, and that's pretty much it. Uh, there's there's a few things to keep in mind during this cup fight. The way I do this, um, there are gonna be two small groups, one to the left and one uh, to the right. Um, pretty much, I, I have a visual cue for this, so the angle where I'm gonna go at is um, exactly, let me show you the picture. I have a picture for this. So yeah, I'm gonna go towards those stairs right there. Like, straight up to those stairs. I'm not gonna go all the way there. Um, because eventually I'm gonna turn right and spray them. And as I turn, I'm gonna do this thing called spray buffering, uh, which pretty much uh, makes you spray the cups as they hit the ground. So you will kill them faster. All right, let's get into the cup fight. So we go there, and then we eventually turn right, spray buffer. So as soon as, soon as I pick a can, I'm gonna start spraying them. And I'm just gonna be holding the right trigger. Also, there is it, it's very important um, to keep an eye on your can management, or canagement, however you wanna call it. Uh, because we actually need to end up this fight having 29 cans, at least. Um, if we, if we want to be optimal, but, um, so yeah, uh, I would recommend you if, if, uh, if, if this is like, if, if you're doing one of your first runs or something, if you're a beginner, uh, take it easy, like, take the cup fights easy, just try to have good can management and then, uh, work on your movement and performing, etc, etc. <laughs> So yeah, we spray these guys, and then we um, spray the other group, and we'll end up with 30 cans, that's pretty good. Uh, okay, so the vehicles are always doing the same cycle, so after the cup fight, I would recommend you to place yourself right here, like in the middle of the lane, like on top of the, uh, of the white line. Because there you're going to be safe, you're not going to spawn um, uh, and get wrecked by a, by a bus or by a car. So that's one safe spot. Or you can also spawn here, that's also good. Um, so yeah, let's keep going. After um, completing the, the cup fight, we're going to boost that. And here I'm not jumping immediately towards the rail because boost dashing is actually faster than just grinding. So we're gonna wait until the boost is done and then jump at the rail. And then we're gonna boost again, jump and get all those hands and shuffle. And then eventually we'll have to short hop. And that's Dogen. This is Shibuya Terminal. This is okay, here again in Shibuya Terminal, we're gonna spam Y as we enter the level again to avoid the slowdown. Like that. And okay, here I'm gonna trigger the Poison Gem cutscene. 
And after that cutscene, I... I don't, I don't really use this visual cue, but I think it's useful because it's very important to get the right angle right here because this is gonna, there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on right here, of movement related stuff. So I'm gonna show you the picture of where you should jump at. So right there. Right, right where uh, the where the edges of the of the rail, or right right at that edge or apex, you're gonna jump straight uh, forward towards the large spray, and we're gonna quick turn before before spraying, and then we're gonna just we're just gonna hold the uh, right trigger, and it's gonna look like this Damn! It's poison jam! <laughs> I can't believe they're showing their ugly faces in broad daylight. Shame on them. Are they the ones behind all this? Quick turn, spray, and then keep the keep holding the right trigger. And right there, right when when you finish <clears throat> the the first large spray, you're gonna boost dash, and you need to make sure that you're in line with these two blue cans right there, right um where um right next to the health can or the red can over there. So yeah, we boost dash, get those two cans, shuffle. Spray and quick turn. Get these cans, all these cans. And right here we got another annoying graffiti camera. This one is actually really weird. This one for some reason makes you makes your controls get inverted. Or at least that's how it feels to me. So I fix this specific graffiti camera by like literally inputting the inverted direction so in this case we want to go right um, and I'm gonna be inputting left right um, right when the uh, graffiti camera shows up so yeah this is this is how it looks like like that. I just, I don't hold left, but I just simply like tap it a little bit during graffiti camera and that's it. And then I return to neutral and that should be good. Um, also the traffic here at Shibuya Terminal is always the same. So there are some cases where when if you go too slow or too fast, you're gonna get hit by buses or or cars um, right there we got another graf uh, graffiti camera where we have to slow down so if you noticed my inputs I actually I'm actually slowing down there um, so yeah this one this part is pretty much just movement quick turning and management these blue cans right here are very important. These uh, graffiti cameras, we're gonna avoid them by hopping and quick turning. And yeah, I just I had just enough cans to complete all of that. All those sprays and um, we're gonna approach poison jam from the left and that's gonna make us right after the cutscene we're gonna spawn looking right at the stairs where we need to go and hopefully we'll get a dash out of it I recommend to unplug and unplug back in your controller during those uh, type of cutscenes because that's gonna that's gonna make you um, dash a hundred percent of the time. 
Um, there I also approached the uh, poison gem from the left again because again um, that's uh, where where we need to go pretty much. And hopefully we'll get another dash. All right, pretty good. Now we're gonna pick up some more cans and um, some more graffiti souls. This graffiti soul up next is very annoying. I really recommend that you actually slow down right here. Change the camera, like really ch uh, take your time to change the camera and make sure you're jumping towards the actual graffiti soul and not the platform because you can actually land on the platform and then you're gonna accidentally quick turn and it's gonna be terrible so yeah slow down take your time get the angle right and then boost dash towards it you can slow down meter I really recommend that I always slow down for that um, graffiti soul Okay, and uh, there's another trick right here that I do. Um, I I don't really know how to explain this. I mean, as as soon as I guess that as soon as I'm hitting like the as, I'm, as long as I'm going up like right here, I'm gonna jump towards the center, so I land like right here. Then I'm gonna quick turn and jump towards them. So. For this, you have to be very gentle with your input. We don't want to like do a rough left input or even like a rough diagonal input. Um, just remem remember to jump as you're going up and gently input um, up left like this. Quick turn and then jump towards them. And, um, yeah, that's uh, pretty good so far. We can get another dash right here, and we'll get the last graffiti soul for Shibuya Terminal. And we should have enough cans for this uh, challenge right here. And there are some things to keep in mind during this challenge. So the first thing to keep in mind here is to not get a frame boost on the first ramp. Like right there. Because if if you get a frame boost, it's not gonna register. And the way this this challenge works is you have to touch all the spots pretty much. So the ramp and the, the street lights and that rail count as one. Um, you don't have to touch uh, the three parts of it, you just have to touch one. Like th in this case, it's just gonna be the ramp. Uh, then it's gonna be that other rail right there, and then the next, and etc. So if you get a frame boost here, it's not gonna count. So don't spam A, don't time a frame boost here. Take your time and like just jump to the left. I mean to the right, like this. And then try to get that can. I it's actually not that important, but it could be useful if you're low on cans. So yeah. And also there's a different route. Some people go to the right here and pick up the blue can there. You can also do that and it's it's still gonna work. Um, but yeah, I usually jump again there and then boost dash right here, so I get like a frame boost here. Again, this is another friendly frame boost. If you don't get it, it's alright. You don't need it. And even if you get it, like you'll have to slow down in mid -air, so it's not actually that important. Alright, we got another cup fight. Up next. Of youth skating in um, let me refresh Alternate my controller area, cam because I don't want these to. Repeat. I don't want these. I don't want the camera to freeze randomly. Okay, we got visual cues here. First, we're gonna have the four groups of cups. 
Uh, this is the order we're gonna do. Like, uh, the first one is gonna be the one uh, right next to us, or right in front of us. Then the second one is behind that group. Then the third one to the left, and the fourth one. Um, so that's the order of the fight. But there's also a um, really important tip here. And it's how to approach them. Because you don't want to, like, go straight into them. Because they're going to bunch you up and that's going to be really, really bad. So instead, you want to look for the sweet spots. And that sweet spot is pretty much this space between the first one and the second one, and the second cup, diagonally speaking. So we're gonna aim for that spot while we spray buffer, and that's gonna that's gonna hit all of them. So yeah, let's see how this looks like. Okay, so that's the first sweet spot. That one is kind of hard, but here you can see it clearly. And then here it's also pretty clear, although uh, Hayashi was blocking the sight. And here we can also see that spot. And um, for this cup fight, it's also very important to um, to to have a good can management. We want to finish this cup fight with. 30 cans or 29, um, and also quick turning. Quick turning is really important to like optimally do this. Um, but um, okay, I think I missed one. <laughs> okay, there we go. So yeah, I forgot to mention that we don't we don't really need to spray Hayashi as as long as we get all the cups, um, it should be fine. So oh, and also I'm gonna mention um, quick cycle and slow cycle. So the the way this cup fights work is. There is this timer running in the background, and this timer um, searches for when the cup fight is complete. That is when all the cups are um, faded. So when that happens, there's a timer running in the background. So if you if you time the cup fight correctly, which is there, there is no way to how. To know that for sure um, but yeah if you if you uh, if you if you're lucky enough to clear the cup fight as the timer is running then you're gonna get a really fast cycle and the the cup fight is gonna end pretty quickly but right here we got a slow cycle and it took a while to end and um, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. And um, if you got any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. And I'll be answering pretty much everything. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace. Seems that Poison Jam graffiti contains a lethal poison. Makes people laugh themselves.